evening. <laughs> uh, lads, uh, this is Lord Melchett. Hey! Hey! Uh, give him a large one, will you? Large one? Well, hey, get it? No. Yes, you do. Large one. <laughs> Sounds a bit rude. Oh, you large one. Yeah. You may find the conversation a bit above your head at first, Melchie, but, but you'll soon get used to it. <laughs> well, uh, down the hatch. <laughs> I heard there's a party on. No, yes, there are two, and you're invited to neither. <laughs> Oh, uh, you must be Gwendolyn. You were invited anyway. Come in. Do. Very much. It's in here. Uh, it's here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry, he's sick. <laughs> Leprosy. <laughs> Other brain. What he is trying to tell you is that you appear to be wearing a pair of devil's dumplings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, my earmuffs have fallen down. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting... Would you like a pair? Uh, it's getting rather cold. Uh, no, thank you. Cold is God's way of telling us to burn more Catholics. <laughs> well, quite. Which reminds me, Auntie. Don't call me Auntie! An aunt is a relative, and relatives are evidence of sex. And sex is hardly a fitting subject for the dinner table. Or indeed, any table. Except perhaps a table in a brothel. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes, I see you've fallen off your chair. Well, now, what was I saying? Oh, my God. Well, turn it, my lady. <laughs> <laughs> Of takes me right back to our wedding night. <laughs> <laughs> we had raw turnips that night, too. <laughs> what was that? What was what? That noise. Noise? <laughs> Did you hear a noise, Percy? No. Good. Apart from that colossal drunken roar. <laughs> <laughs> It's the, it's the Catholics next door, I'm afraid. No! Uh, I'll, I'll just go and burn them. Back in a minute. <laughs> <laughs>